Meanwhile, the Minister of Women Affairs, Mrs. Uju Kennedy Ohane, is calling for the conviction of sexual offenders to serve as a deterrent to perpetrators. The minister made the remark at a stakeholders' engagement on sexual harassment prevention in tertiary institutions. Mrs. Kennedy Ohane noted that the menace of sexual harassment that occurs in tertiary institutions occur because there are no consequences. She therefore called on Nigerian universities to pledge zero tolerance for sexual harassment and provide a safe environment for learning, adding that government must assent to the anti-sexual harassment bill to implement frameworks and activate a winning coalition against the menace. And I'm sure that we agreed whoever commits will be prosecuted, whether you're a man or you're a woman. It is not one-sided. People do things and they feel, what can anybody do to me? Highest, he will settle police, or he will settle the lawyers, or anything. When you have consequences, people will start respecting themselves. That mindset, you think you will engage and you speak to them. You can't succeed except there are consequences. And when the consequences are there, trust me, the mind reset itself. You won't need any engagement. So I believe strongly that when we have justice and there are consequences, it's going to curb this. And that can equally encourage our girls to read their books. Because a few of them equally believe they don't want to read, they'd rather be parambulating, and later they go down there to hold a, a lecturer to ransom or get him to get involved. And a lot, lot of other male lecturers use their position to intimidate the girls and harass them sexually. Both sides will be checked.